Hi there, I'm Dee Dee. This is Pink Chill Divest. Welcome to my Sexist Womanist Bohemian channel. I am bringing you a lecture about the dangers of last minute swirl dates. This is a divested community for black women, primarily dating outside of the race or interested in it. My brand of divestment is pretty close to the dictionary definition with drawing resources and I add from non-reciprocals. Now a last minute swirl date is when a man outside of the race contacts you probably on the same day for a date. It is not a badge of honor. It doesn't mean he's thinking about you. It doesn't mean you are particularly on his mind. It only takes two seconds to send you a WYD text. WYD, what are you doing? Takes two seconds. And I wanna remind you that these men, these non-black men are primarily socialized by their patriarchy. Typically, they were taught the manly art of courtship. They know how to plan. They make plans to get their hair cut, okay? They make plans to go to the sports bars, it's okay? They make plans to go to work. They make plans for things that are important to them. Remember this. They make plans for things that are important to them, and you can take it as a diss that a man that you really don't know or maybe that you probably have been dating for a short while or maybe you haven't even met him yet and he drops that on you, no, it's not a badge of honor. Here's what you do. For one, you don't tell a stranger what you're doing. Strangers don't have that insider's access to your life. Do not reply to the what you doing text, spilling your guts about your location, about what's going on at work. This is what women do, wearing their emotions on their sleeves, wear their heart on their sleeve, telling the stranger everything and all he had to do was send you three letters. No, you're not gonna do that. Here's what you do. You reply girlishly. You could use a cute emoji. You say, why do you ask WYD? Reply, why do you ask? You are not being rude, not telling a stranger your business. Self-preservation, dear. Self-preservation. Why do you ask? Don't be mean about it. Just be cute about it. Ha ha. Why do you ask? Where you could say you're so nosy. Anything like that, except you're not telling him your business. He doesn't have that honor. He doesn't have insider's access. He doesn't get that privilege. If he is functional, he understands you put the ball back in his court. If he is functional, he will reply telling you what he is doing, which he should have done in the first place. He'll reply, I'm at work. I'm going to the sports bar, hang out with my uh, brother. I'm going to the gym. I'm taking my car to get the wheel fixed. He's going to tell you what he's doing if he is functional and not a game player. If he is a game player, he's going to come back funky. He's going to come back funky on you. He's going to come back and he is not going to tell you what he is doing because he doesn't want you to know what he is doing. He wants access to you on his terms. He doesn't see you as a girlfriend, as wife material, as someone he's going to love. No, he doesn't. If he comes back funky saying, what do you mean? I'm just asking you a question. By then, come on, darling, he should be blocked. When these men you don't know, if they come back with the funk, delete block. Do not waste your femininity going back and forth on some guy who doesn't know the manly arts. Don't do it. Here's what I covered on this lecture. A last minute date of any kind is not a badge of honor unless it's your serious boyfriend or your boyfriend or your husband. It's cute. Hey, honey, tonight let's go get spaghetti. Tonight, honey, I, I, let's go to that museum opening. Tonight, honey, let's go down and play miniature golf. You've got a, a relationship. A stranger who is disrespecting your time and thinks you don't have anything else going on, but most likely what happened is that was a group text. He sent that to you and other women. That's all it takes, and he wants to see who's going to be the low-lying fruit. Men that are serious will plan a date. Men make appointments to get their hair cut six weeks in advance. Men make appointments to go to the sports bar with their male co-workers. Men make appointments for things that are important to them. When he doesn't prioritize you enough at the beginning, that's how it's going to end. Which is, here's the deal, ladies. It doesn't matter why a guy is trying that last minute crap with you. You're not here to analyze him. It doesn't matter. Don't lie and say he's too busy to make a date. Stop enabling 
poor behaviors. He didn't make a date because he didn't want to. Let's be zen about it. He didn't want to. And you want a man that wants you. You want a man that you are on his mind so much that he wants to lock down your time in advance. And he is, has this longing. He's thinking about you. I'm going to see her on Saturday at 6 o'clock. I can't wait. I'm going to see her next week, uh, Wednesday. We're going to go to the movies. Ooh, I can't wait for that. This last minute crap, eh, waste of time. So, thank you so much for listening to my lecture. I appreciate you being here. I am Dee Dee. This is Pink Show Divest.